Even in 2018, athletes are breaking barriers in pro sports. 27 year old Tad Fujikawa is now the first openly gay professional golfer. He came out this week on Instagram saying, quote, so I'm gay. I spent way too long pretending, hiding, and hating who I was. Now I'm standing up for myself and the rest of the LGBTQ community in hopes of being an inspiration and making a difference in someone's life. Uh, as a pro athlete, uh, what do you think about it? It just mind boggles me that in 2018 that somebody has to come out and make a big announcement. I get it because he wants to make sure that there's representation for young kids like mm -hmm. him who don't have to hate themselves because they shouldn't. Um, but as a former athlete yourself, what do you think about this? You know, first and foremost, congratulations for coming out. Um, I think that's great. I, 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 round of applause for him again. Yep. Yeah. Amen. But, but the pressure is on. The pressure is on you to produce. You have to produce, otherwise, in a, especially in a sport like golf, they're gonna come at you. When I retired from the CFL, which is the Canadian Football League, that was Michael Sam's first year up there. He could not handle the pressure. He couldn't handle people not only leaving the locker room when he'd come in and everyone would be naked, you just throw clothes on and you leave. But at the same time, he couldn't handle the grumblings because he wasn't playing well up there. And he ended up retiring. He only lasted three months up there. And he said the last 12 months has been very difficult for me to the point where I became concerned with my mental health. So when he retired, where was Oprah? Where was all the well wishes before that? So I, I, he, this guy has to be mentally tough to deal with everything because Brandon, it's more than golf. Brandon, do you think it would have been better had Michael Sam waited to be in the league for a couple years and establish some, some, some success before coming out? Because see, this guy's a pro now. He's already an inspiration. I think for a lot of people, um, that minority representation is very relevant. Tiger Woods was probably very, very inspirational to a lot of African Americans. So do you think he should have waited for, do you think he set himself up in a way for more criticism because he, wasn't truly a pro success before he said this? Uh, no, I don't think there's a time point. Being the brother of a, of a, of a, of a lesbian who had a hard time coming out, um, I don't think there's a time point when you want to come out because talking to her, she felt isolated a lot at times and stuff, and she had her bigger brothers, her older brothers, to be there for her and stuff. So who knows what was going through his head, what pressure he felt in order to come out and inspire kids that are like him. But I can't say there's a, a time point, but all I can say is he's got to produce. Hmm. I hate, I agree with you, and I know that's giving advice, but I hate that it's almost like we're dealing with a symptom, meaning like, why should he have to, so to speak, quote unquote, man up when in reality society should yeah. evolve and be more tolerant? But he is going to be inspirational to a lot of people, yes, which is, is. great. Yes. And that's, yes. I think that's his point. Yeah.